Christmas. Trees, tinsel, lights, the sounds of Christmas all around us remind us of warm, fuzzy times of our childhood. But have we really been told where the root of Christmas came from? Let's start with the star on the top of our Christmas tree. It's a five-pointed star, and it's from Nimrod, the horn god, the stag god. This god we bring his spirit into our home every year and bow down to it unknowingly as we place it at the top of our beautiful tree year after year. We've been told it was a star that led the shepherd to our Lord as he lay asleep in the hay. But Nimrod was born years before our Lord was ever born on this earth, people. We've been fooled by the occult because we have not looked this up before today. I hope your eyes and ears will be open as mine was as we, as we walk through this today. Please listen to the rest of this video. The oak tree is one of the most sacred trees of all the occult symbols. To the Celtic, the Druids were the high priest of their tribe, being called the men of oak. The palm tree god in Egypt was named Bel Tamar. To him they bowed. The ungodly people in the land of Canaan also adopted a tree worship, calling him Ashtaroth. A tree with its twigs cut off was engraved with figures. The fir tree was worshipped in Rome, calling its god an unborn god, or a newborn god, named Baal Bertha, who was restored life by a snake. And on that day... <laughs> They had a feast and called it, on that day, Victorious Over Death. It was called Birthday of the Unconquered Sun. Thus, the annual custom of erecting and decorating evergreen trees was brought down to us through the centuries by the pagan Roman church. Also, Buddhists worshipped in caves, and they too had a blessed tree, who was found inscribed in almost every cave, according to the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry. Later on, we find that they too baked cookies in the shape of sun gods and tied chestnuts with Yule ribbons, the traditional colors of red and green, and attached them to oak trees or evergreens during their festivals. They would dance around the trees before they bowed down to them, and the young girls would walk through the village with lit candles upon their heads to wel welcome the sun god into their villages. Made from evergreens, Christmas wreaths are most frequently round, which symbolizes the sun, as do halos in most spiritual arts. Thus, the round Christmas wreaths stand for an everlasting sun, an ever-dying, self-renewing sun. In circulation, the round appearance can also recant the symbolizing of female, which stands for rebirth of life. In older times, they took candles and placed them on the trees or window sills. This was as for a blessing from the winter god. Also, the people in the streets would know that they were one of them in the druid time. As a sign in the night, I am one of you. Today, in replacement of the candles, well, they say it's for safety, but we now replace them with blinking lights to welcome in the spirits into our home. How pretty they are, having those nice lighted candles still on our window sills, but now they are electric. We also use mistletoe. I have a nice video of this on my channel. They are still a sacred plant today known as a fertility plant, to entrap both men and women into its spell. Holly is also a sacred plant, and can ha as it is known to be from Saturn, has its magical powers, keep away evil spirits. They dress it in their hair, adorn their homes, and made teas from it. Our God is known to be all-powerful, all-knowing, everywhere at all times, and sees all. Only he is supposed to have these attributes. But we have now given this to the fabled Santa Elf, Satan. The winter god has been said to have taught Santa how to make a snowball 
and look into it as if it is a crystal ball to see all things and to know all. Odin took his own eye out and threw it into a well of knowledge so he could gain wisdom. This was to make him be just like God. Reindeers are a symbol of the stag god. The number eight is an occult symbol, as the horse of Odin was, because he had eight legs. There are also eight reindeer. The number eight, when lying on its side, can become the sign of infinity. Red is known for the color of the sun. Green is for new life. Yule took its colors from nature. The same is used for Christmas, so Rome just took these colors into the church and called them Christmas colors. And then they, when they really were Yules, Rome knew that these colors stood for. In a long time, we, had, we have lost the knowledge of this and adore our homes with them, with love, just like we still love the Christmas tree. But now we have the knowledge and we will no longer lo love it after today. You ask, so where did the date December the 25th come from? Well, let's take a look and see. Nimrod's child's name was Tomaz. Augustus was a pagan worshiper, and he wanted to get all the Christians to worship with him as well. He re renamed all his God to make them appear to be Christian. So if there were any...